This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. We'll stop. And now we get on to the reason we've been using this first, sec first and second variables and this first check and second check variables. This document dot write statement here says here plus first. So here plus first plus your plus num oranges plus orange plus second and that doesn't look like much and it sounds pretty hard to follow uh, now so let's just see it in action here uh, going back let's uh, input a value how many oranges do I want? I want uh, seven oranges if I click OK now I'll press enter this says here are your seven oranges and let's just take a look at this here and then we're saying put it on the value of first and the value of first is uh, wait there's no value here uh, and if we go back to here remember the value of first was assigned here and if num oranges is greater than one first equals r and because uh, we entered seven for num oranges num oranges is greater than one so uh, first equals r so this first bit is saying here r here are your of as well because that that doesn't include anything and then we're just outputting the value of uh, non oranges so we're just saying how many oranges they uh, chose so here are your in and in my case seven orange and then this assi this outputs the value of second and we assign second here so if it's greater than one it received a value of s full stop else it received just a full stop and because uh, 7 is greater than 1, mine received a value of S full stop. So it now says oranges. So those are two classical examples of where we use this conditional operator. Uh, it's to sort of pretty much really all the conditional operator is used. If you sum it down, it's just used to, uh, to determine the difference between plural and non-plural in... Uh, outputting statements. So let's go back here. When we have a plural, it says R, and then it adds an S. But if we input one, it says here is your orange, and that pretty much sums it up. The uh, the use of the conditional statement. So, and if you have any questions with that, if it wasn't exactly as clear as I expected it to be, just go ahead and ask. Okay. And now I'm just going to comment this out because I don't want it popping up when we go on to the next bit. And I'm just going to take this away and put, put it back here, because I don't want this popping up, I just want this bit. And, whoops, I scrolled up. Okay, now, here we have... Well, I'm just going to change this. Um, here we have... We're going on to switch state, statements now. So first we create a variable called num and assign it a value of 1. And then we uh, we switch the value num, and uh, to do this with your own variable, you just type the word switch, and then two parentheses, and then whatever value you want to switch. And because it's a value, you can just input any uh, number. It doesn't have to be a variable, uh, but we're just using a variable here. If you input a number, it doesn't have any reference to anything, so it's kind of useless. Anyway, here we're taking a look at. Uh, this is like this. The switch statement is like uh, an if. Uh, it's like a whole if block, but it's it's a lot easier to use and it's a lot less chunky as well. Uh, if we wrote out an if like this, basically what we'd be doing is it's probably a good idea to do this because it uh, a lot of people confuse uh, the switch statements, and I'll talk about that in a sec. But let's let's write this out first. If num equals equals one. Uh, alert one. Else if num equals equals two. Alert two. Else if num equals equals three. Alert three, and finally, uh, else if num equals equals fifty.
okay now it's uh this bit is different from the uh, the uh, if block uh for one reason well actually more than one reason but it's, it, it is different and we'll cover why in a set in the next block and we're also going to cover the solution to why it's different but basically here we have um so we're switching num and we're saying case one so don't think of this as case number one okay this isn't case number one this is just a case and this is saying uh if the value inside whatever's being switched is one and uh it's easier to see this as if num equals equals one. We've just got case here because that's a requirement of using a switch statement. So this is like saying if the value inside num is one, alert one. We just have to put this these uh, the word case in front of it because that's a requirement of switch statement, as I said before. And also we have to put this colon. Um, and now we're going to alert one. If it if it's two, then alert two. If it's three then alert 3. If it's 50, then alert 50. And I've just put this 50 here, I know it's kind of random, but that's just to help clarify uh, better that we're not talking about, we're not saying case number 1, case number 2, case number 3. We're saying, we're just saying case, and then if the value inside is number 1, case, value inside is number 2, case, value inside is number 3, case, value inside is number 50. And the reason being this helps explain is because I haven't put from 4 to 49 in after three, I've just skipped straight to fifty, which wouldn't sh shouldn't really be able to happen if I was saying case number one, case number two, and also saying case number one doesn't really work because we're not saying we're not asking what the value inside num is, so it would you know it wouldn't work. That's basically it. Just wouldn't work. Okay. Now anyway, moving on. Uh, if you if you don't really understand the switch statement then just message me okay uh, but anyway moving on now we're gonna save this and refresh this okay so here we see our switch statement has successfully output alerted us sorry with uh, a text box saying one which is correct yeah the value inside is one so this clicked yep it's one so I'm now going to alert one if we go back though and press OK there's a tiny problem and it starts learning too. Hey, wait a minute, no, okay. Maybe that was just a little bug. Wait a minute, three, fifty. And finally, oh no, wait, no, oh, why? Oh, whoops, that's just because I've got this here. Um, let's just comment this out then quickly as well. Or I'll delete it now because we don't really need it. Uh, so, so why was it, why even though it was only one and not two and three and fifty? Was it continuing, continuing? Sorry, not continuing, continuing to cycle through the other statements. Well, that again, that's going to be covered in the next code block. But for now, let's look at the second problem with this switch. This can all be solved. Don't worry. 